To be honest, I'm a little bit warm in here. There's a wood stove going over there and it's efficient. But outside, it is definitely still feather weather. Well, hello and welcome to another episode of Chewing the Brew. I am drinking a beer I am really looking forward to. This is my first drink of this. This is Black Raven Brewing's Featherweather Mexican Hot Chocolate Stout. And it is probably officially... No, it's not. I was thinking it might be an imperial stout, but no, it is only a, uh, a regular stout at 6% ABV. Mexican hot chocolate stouts usually are going for the, like a, the, the balance of spicy and hot. The Mexican hot chocolate is not necessarily spicy. I believe Mexican hot chocolate technically is a um, it's a form of hot chocolate where the the chocolate has been stone ground not quite so finely as um, a bar chocolate. And so if you were to take a uh, oh and it's also not a powder, it's usually a, a block. There are several brands you can get at most grocers, Abuelas, a um, couple others that I enjoy. Uh, Tazo, I believe, or Taza, Taza, Taza makes probably one of the better ones in my experience. You can pick that up on, on Amazon, and it comes in these discs, and you break them apart into the segment that you want, and you melt, uh, or you warm up um, uh, water or milk or any kind of milk you want, and you, you kind of break the, the chocolate into smaller pieces and you put it inside the the drink and you melt it you whisk it till it's melted and it's really good and there's little <clears throat> bits of leftover kind of um chocolate uh seed chocolate bean uh grounds at the bottom sometimes um really good really tasty really rich um quite different from you know the swiss miss and the tear off pack that that we americans might be more used to i've had a few other mexican chocolate beers the ones that have been, you know, the chocolate and the spice. And some of them, most of them, have not been super successful. A couple of them have. The one that I most remember as being most successful is Stone Brewing's Chacaveza, which is a uh, spicy and cocoa uh, stout and is really quite delicious. Well-balanced, nice beer. Or it was four or something odd years ago the last time I tried it. Anyways, this is not that. This is... Black Ravens own Featherweather Mexican cho hot chocolate. I believe they've made this for a little bit. I don't, I'm pretty sure this isn't the first year. I know people who've had this in the past. Um, I like Black Raven. They're a good brewer. And uh, so I'm looking forward to their take on the style. Oh, oh yeah. Okay, so I'm definitely picking up that, that chocolate. And it smells a lot like the the mexican drinking chocolate that i have that i've enjoyed many times there's definitely also a booziness and perhaps some uh, uh a syrupy note not quite molasses more of a maybe halfway between molasses and maple syrup um with a little bit of a fruitiness to it like a, a dark raspberry or dark blackberry smells good. This can isn't particularly warm. Um, if it were a higher ABV, I'd probably care more about warming it up. But being that it's 6%, um, I don't know how much the flavors are going to bloom with uh, with warming. Um, but you know, I'll give it, a, give it a chance. You know, being a stout, being warm is not a problem for this beer at all, that's for certain. There's also kind of a nuttiness to the chocolate, um, perhaps almost an almond kind of note. Overall, it's a very smooth flavor, a very smooth smell, aroma. Um, there's a lot of kind of dark and, and rich uh, scents coming out here, um, but it doesn't feel, it doesn't smell thick. Not that they've been diluted, 
but maybe possibly a little bit. Well, let's drink it, see how it stands up. Hmm, okay. Interesting. Um, sorry, I got distracted by the glass, but I think it's just the glass kind of frosted over, not that there's some weird thickness to this. So, all the things that were in the nose are in the taste as well. There is a, um, just throughout, a nice uh, dark chocolatey, well not, not dark chocolate, but dark chocolatey. <laughs> it's a milk chocolate. It's, it's been, it's, uh, it's a chocolate that's been mixed with, with warm milk. You know, it's, it's that dark chocolatey ness, um, rather than dark chocolate. Um, and, uh, a little bit of maybe an earthiness to it, as in it's not super sweetened, uh, chocolate. There's, there's still some, some of that chocolate bitterness to it. Um, that, that hint of fruitiness, when I first drank it, there was almost a, almost that molasses kind of note again, but it, it was, it's like a fruit molasses. It, it'd be like if you made a, a blackberry molasses, I guess. Um, it's like a really thick, fruit, dark, boiled down, concentrated fruit syrup kind of molasses flavor to it. And, and then you have this kind of pervasive chocolate note that's just really nice. And, and the finish is is that same chocolate i mean that that's just kind of from stem to stern that's from start to finish it's it's really chocolate it's it's a good beer um the chocolate is here there are not any off or unpleasant like it's not there's not hops playing a note someplace adding bitterness or too much earthiness in a weird direction um, i mean i assume there are hops in this beer there are hops in every beer or nearly every beer i assume it's just the ones that are used here are being used judiciously and balanced beautifully to add what they need to add and not what they don't need to add, right? And I would be surprised if this used adjuncts. Um, oh, no, it does. Actually, it says it is stout brewed with Mexican hot chocolate, perfectly balanced. So it is it is an adjunct beer, the adjunct being the Mexican hot chocolate. And that's probably why it's so prevalent there throughout the beer. But it's a real Mexican hot chocolate. Like, it's not... It's not the heavy wax or high sugar or anything like that. It's it's a quality that the taste is a quality hot chocolate taste, and and that's good. It's a good use of adjunct. This is a really good beer. I like it quite a lot. I'm gonna enjoy it. It can be savored. Um, I think it'll work great even at nearly room temperature. It would be interesting to see. A, maybe a specialized, like an aged, higher ABV version of this, like a uh, an 8 or 10 or even 12% ABV where they kind of went all out and maybe aged it for a bit, maybe even gave some barrel treatment. That I think this beer would do pretty well in that. Though I wonder if the adjuncts might um, impact um, how well it can age or how well it could, could barrel. Uh, but I don't know that. I don't make beer. I just drink it. And this is a beer I am going to enjoy drinking quite a lot. This is me, Matthew. I've been drinking and enjoying, definitely enjoying, Black Raven Brewing's Feather Weather. Did I say sweater weather? I probably did say sweater weather. I was thinking sweater weather. I was, I was wearing this sweater to record this. But no, it's not sweater weather. It's feather weather. It even says right there, feather weather. <sighs> this is me signing off dumbly. <laughs> and I'll catch y'all on the flip side. <laughs>